Five months later, the Bud Light boycott still seems to be going strong, though host of the Joe Rogan experience appears to have moved past the outrage. Whether you think Joe Rogan is a credible source or just a gas bag, he'll always tell it like it is and provide intriguing and thought-provoking conversations with his wide range of guests. And as of late, he hasn't shied away from cracking open a couple of cold ones during interviews, and his drink of choice has been Bud Light. No one would have really thought anything about it if it happened a year ago, but the Anheuser-Busch partnership with transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney back in March has caused America's formerly favorite beer to have a negative stigma surrounding it. With Post Malone sitting across from him. Rogan addressed the negative aura around the beer when he asked the pop rap artist to hand him one. Could there be a secret Bud Light partnership with the beer company and Joe Rogan? If you put on your tin foil hat and think about it, it could be possible that Rogan is the man tasked with subtly de escalating the boycott. Rogan recently had country music star Zach Bryan on his show, and they cracked open a couple of Bud Lights as well, which obviously had some mixed reactions from Rogan's loyal podcast audience.